beginning of second half our great soft race to start. I meant to be five. Um, so aerial photography, yeah. the antelope will go well and that they're large enough to be seen from an aerial thing. And also that the area is not um, heavy meditative. <laughs> so aerial photography, they're really visible. So you can't like use aerial photography to say in the nice of the Right. Okay, and that's not um that doesn't that's not what makes it a suitable method. Then you're looking at the method and how you're gonna get it so the cheaper thing is not the issue. So my grade 11 is one of the things that I was the one of thing recently was saying it takes too long. That's not an issue. In science it's not an issue. If you have to study something for 10 years to get a result, 10 years is 10 years. As long as the result is Okay. Alright. Okay. So this one it is secondary succession, right? Do you all know why? Type, type of community found in plan five would have been the pioneers. And what is the importance of periodic fires in this region? To burn down old vegetation to get nutrients to return to the soil. Or certain plants require periodic burning to allow for seed germination. In South Africa, what biome is that very correct for? In South Africa, where are there plants that require fire for the seeds to germinate? Not so much the Kruger, it's more for animals. Okay. Um, so in the Kruger, the fire is mostly to to make sure that the trees don't take over. Mm -hmm. But I know they put fire sometimes yeah. manually. They can mm -hmm. Yes. So to prevent tree encroachment, so that the grasses can still grow, and to get rid of something called moribund vegetation, which would prevent the new vegetation from growing. And you can see that if you walk along the top here, there where they've got on the floor. Left hand side, all those grasses that are normally there as a natural vegetation region, um, that they chopped them down recently to get rid of the dead parts so that the new green grass can come through. And that's what they very often do on the game farms up near Kruger, so that there's green grass, because otherwise the new green grass can't grow through the um, big patches of dead grass. Okay. All right. How can you tell by looking at the shape of the pyramid that is typical of a developed region? Um, you must refer to the shape of the pyramid here. So, the pyramid is narrow at the base. Therefore, the people are choosing to have fewer children. It's wider in the middle, so there's a larger working class to provide for fewer children. Not so very narrow at the top, so more people survive to reach very old age, e.g. 90 plus, because they have better health care. So any two of those points well explained. How could this information have been uh, obtained? By carrying out a census of all the households, all the individuals counted, by door-to-door -door visit, by trained staff and pulling out of forms, data is then collected and analysed. Some of you apparently said determinant average. Uh -uh. Okay, and then C, determine how many people aged 25 to 29 are present, and it is between 17 and 16.5 million male and 16 million female. And therefore, the total would have been 32.5 million or 33 million. 
and you had to give the unit. Okay. 2.2.2, predict two things that would happen to the population over the next 20 years using information from the population pyramid to explain your answer. It would probably decrease even more at the base because people are still not, not going to have many children or many would choose not to have any children at all. And it, there would be a growing number of aged individuals who would have to be looked after by a smaller group of workers. Okay. Um, 2.2.3. Um, yes. Would that in turn increase the population size? No. Would it? No. Okay. Population is probably going to get smaller. Because okay. fewer children, yeah. even although more living for longer. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Right. Um, two ways in which the population pyramid of a developing country would differ. More triangular shape, narrower at the top. More younger children near the base. Smaller working force than children. And fewer people, that word should be fewer. You guys use the word less when you should be saying fewer. Reach an extreme old age. And the comment Mrs. Florenza made was your answers generally are not well worded. Okay, DNA profile. Explain why the polymerase chain reaction is necessary to create a DNA profile to increase the amount of DNA because um, there's got to be a significant amount of DNA to put into the wells of a gel electrophoresis to produce visible bands. Okay, 3.1.2, DNA replication. 3.1.3, um, the enzyme, DNA polymerase. It's not okay to just say polymerase. Okay, then the answer here, 120. One for the method, one for the answer. Okay, um, 3.1.5, two types of tissue samples, um, blood, skin, semen, or hair. Okay, um, you can't say saliva because saliva is not a tissue. Okay. 3.1.6, two precautionary measures that would need to be taken when the DNA samples are collected to ensure that the results are accurate. Wear gloves so as not to contaminate the samples and label the test tubes accurately so that the samples can be tracked. Or any comment about storing them suitably on to the lab. Okay. 3.1.7, two reasons, bullet your answers. Um, you could have said yes or you could have said no, it doesn't matter as long as you explained your answers correctly. So, no would have given you an answer like right to privacy, the information could get into the wrong hands, for example, medical aid schemes or insurances, who would then raise your premium. Or, you could have said costly, the money can be better used elsewhere. Um, or you could have said yes, because all people's DNA would be stored, and it would be easy to identify missing people, to trace bodies during natural disaster, etc. Or all criminals' DNA data would be stored, and it would be quicker to convict criminals or to solve a crime. A crime, sorry. Again, bullet. Okay. Can you go through um, so there were 15 molecules times 2 is 30, times 2 is 60, times 2 is 120. Because each, each molecule when it replicates makes 2. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Then there's silkworm silk and spider silk and gen genetically modified silkworms. Okay. Um, 
Okay. All right, so the first question was, you had to draw a table. Um, conventional silkworms and spiders produce silk that could be farmed. Draw up a table to provide the following information. One reason why this would be feasible in each case and one disadvantage of farming each type of organism for their silk. So Mrs. Florence's comments were, this question doesn't refer to genetically modified silkworms and give a full table outline that is large enough. So silkworms, one of the advantages, they're easy to farm, they produce a lot of silk. Disadvantages, the silk isn't strong, it's very fragile. Spiders, silk is much stronger than steel. Disadvantage, not enough is produced. And spiders have this ghastly tendency of eating each other. That's a problem when you farm them. Okay, so your marks are for a suitable heading, for a suitable table outline that is in pencil and large enough, one disadvantage and one advantage for silkworms, one disadvantage and one advantage for spiders. Okay. A biological term for something that is genetically modified is transgenic. Mm, what would the recombinant mean in this case? The DNA is recombinant. Okay, the organism is transgenic. Okay. Alright, 3.2.3. The enzyme is a restriction enzyme or a restriction endonuclease or an endonuclease. 3.2.4. To allow the uptake of spider DNA by the silkworm cell. Okay. Um, 3.2.45. Uh, to produce products such as sutures that promote quicker healing or they last for longer or they're more natural or to make more natural products instead of environmentally damaging plastics. And then silk is stronger and therefore is more suitable for making clothing, etc. Any two points? One explained. Now, what is the, bar the viral vector? Um, it's when... Um, so if you've got to get a desired gene into another cell or mm. into another organism, in animals what often happens is that desired gene is inserted into a bacterium or a virus because bacteria or viruses infect the cells so they carry the gene into the cells. Because otherwise there's nothing that's going to carry the gene into the cell that you're trying to get it into. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No. Yes. Um, for 3.2.5, why can't you, I went and I um, said that silk is very strong and can be used instead of steel and other man-made, well not man-made materials, but other materials in construction or whatever, and that's why it's beneficial to humans. But then, over there it says, I'm not even for a given, but where does it say you use information in the source? Because of the word explain. But that doesn't explain to be on your own knowledge to use information in the text. Explain. Okay. So I, I just think that that doesn't explain it well enough. Okay. You're stating a, a use of it, but you're not stating, you're not explaining okay. that use. I, th I would say. Okay. Right, which famous animal was the first to be produced using this process? It was Dolly. Have I answered all? No, I was very confused. 3.2.6. 3.2.6. Yes, my researchers might be concerned about the consequences for shopping. You see if I move forward. Yeah. Matt, can you see? Can you see over my head? Oh, no. 
Okay. All right. Okay. So, suggest why researchers might be concerned about the consequences of genetically modified silkworms escape into the bowel. Is this the one you're asking me to do? Yes, please. Okay. Not enough is known about the effect or the outcome if they breed with wild type silkworms. Could change the genome of wild silkworms. And there might no longer be a predator for those genetically modified silkworms, and they might therefore become a pest. Apparently, some of you said you could track animals with their silk. Okay. Guys, silkworms spin cocoons, you nonas. Did you not keep silkworms in your youth? Yeah. Yeah, they would go under the bed and then you would get to feed them and then they would all die and start stinking. Okay, so this was Dolly the sheep, apparently not just Dolly. Um, to which rat would the baby rat be identical to be? Because the nucleus which contains the DNA was obtained from the skin cell of rat B, which then divided to form a new rat. Please note there was no DNA shared. 3.3.3, um, why the rat at C is said to be a surrogate, because the embryo is implanted into another non-mother rat to develop. Okay. 3.3.4a. Okay. Um, process has been successfully used to clone other animals as well, and the potential to use it in humans is on the cards. Why might you agree that it would benefit people? Because they, they can be cloned for use for medical research. How cool is that? Or to grow organs. What's a disadvantage? Um, I don't know, this is for the advantages. Prevents tissue rejection because it's cloned tissues or organs that can be given to a patient. Nothing about having babies if one is sterile. Um. But for, for green, I said that you can remove the undesired traits or like syndromes um, from the babies. But I got no mark for that. No, because it's not a, the person's baby, because you can now put a new. No, like, when they, like at the embryonic stage. Embryonic? Embry yeah, it's not. Um, it's, that they could the and not by this process. But they're saying you agree why it, why it would benefit humans. Not by this process. So somatic cell nuclear transfer, no. Oh, okay. okay. And why would people be against using this process in humans? Because it might be seen as creating a new life or playing God. Organisms not created in a natural way. People might feel that this technology can be used for other purposes, creating new or better individuals unnaturally. There might be unforeseen medical problems, or it might be the violation of an individual's rights to own an individual. Okay. 3.5.5, many attempts to produce animals in this way fail, resulting in very few live births from the eggs that are implanted. When conducting research, it is very easy to report only on attempts that produce successful outcomes. Why is it important that scientists also report the results from failed attempts? So that other researchers can learn from failed attempts and not repeat them and it helps to reduce research time. Okay. All right. Um, I think, pop everything together inside your paper one, because I know that you also want to see paper two today. So let's do paper two. No, 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 we haven't finished, but I know that you want to see paper two. So, pop everything together, we'll go back to paper one.
avoiding Okay, so um, guys, Tamlin, Tahir, and Kaylin, there's still queries about yours in terms of moderation. Okay, so this is not finalized for you guys. Okay, two. And I'll put your question, those ones went for moderation, but I'll put your question papers back with them afterwards. Okay. Alright. So we're not going to have time to go through this now. The issue is that I think you just want to see your box. Mm -hmm. A maths? A maths? Yes. You've got to be insane, you know, I don't do arithmetic. Yeah, So, on what do you have a query that involves calculations? My calculations. Oh, holy cow. You know I don't do arithmetic.
Okay. 